interview with Tina about bringing her show home to America. Let's watch. Tina Turner's raw energy, distinctive voice, and captivating stage persona has won her an audience of international scope. Nowhere is she more treasured and embraced than in Europe. On her tour of that continent, she recently performed in Munich for an intimate crowd of 100,000 screaming fans. In a quieter moment, we asked her how she thinks she'll be received on her upcoming tour of the States. What I feel about Europe, America's home. And friends, family, and years is still there, you know. And so I'm looking forward to getting back there, getting in the halls and feeling what is happening there, whatever that is, you know. It's, um, it's something else to look forward to again. It's, you know, it's another, how do you call, um, it, it's an attraction to wait to, to see wh what's going to happen there. Now, here was a surprise. America could easily be one way or another. But I feel that the balance is that I'm looking at what I did here. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm surviving on in, in my, uh, my reality. But it's exciting because it's so big. It's, uh, it's just like uh, when you hit the stage, you have to take a sec For a second, you can't see because of the lighting. Then all of a sudden, there's a flash of lights, and you go, there are people back or up there or over. You know, it's thank goodness for the screens because otherwise I would feel like, how could I work to make sure that those people are seeing what I'm doing? You know, I mean, it, they're just every place. They are there, and they're responding. Now your book is out, and it's about to come out in a, in a paperback, right, in August. What have been some of the reactions now that it's been out from some of the people in the book? I haven't had any contact because I've been over here. Um, the people in Europe have just simply said to me, I read the book. I think you're fantastic. And that's all. I mean, there hasn't been any conversation because actually it's not a sort of a conversation piece. You know, it's not something that I want to talk about or even someone that might. A few people have said, I really got the message for the book. I mean, it is possible that you can change your karma or alter your life or control your destiny. So it's been, you know, very subtle here. I don't know in America yet because I haven't been yet. This summer I should find out. Do you know, do you remember that little thing on page seven? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> you get some funny reaction. Not yet because, you know, it, all of that book is basically in America, all of those people and all. So I'm sure when I start to tour America this time, a lot, a lot of people will come out of the woods because it's a Tennessee, a lot of my school friends and all, and it, it could be like a, just a class reunion, really, in a way, you know? Could be. Do you ever have dreams of women going, rolling? <laughs> but just, do you ever wake up and think that there's someone <laughs> next to you? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to ask that. <laughs> That's wonderful, because um, as I was getting the show together, we actually tried, Roger and I, to squeeze Mary out. By the way, I was thinking of Proud Mary, <laughs> the rolling one. And I tell you, she just decided to stay rolling right in there. I, mean, I really tried for about a good six weeks. And I said, I'm just going to have to stick Proud Mary back in because I need another song. And it worked. And do you know what it is, Bob? It's like I did Proud Mary with every group that landed, every set of iCats, even the set of guys and girls. And you know what? Now I'm doing it alone. <laughs> <laughs> it felt strange. It felt embarrassing for a second because I felt, oh no. But then I felt, oh yeah, this is the song that I've survived on for years. This is a song that people waited for. This is a song that climaxed all those years when I didn't have anything to climax for me. So why not? So I digested it and I, poof, I'm flying. Now, you're going to play America in August. Start August 10th, I believe. Yes. I used to do this for a living, not quite the way you are doing it, but, and after every tour, I finally come home, unpack, and say, I just don't ever want to do this again. <laughs> now, it was just my hands that were tired. <laughs> I can imagine what you have to go through. What are your feelings about this tour? Because this is another major, major tour. Last year, I looked forward to finally not traveling and just finally doing an album and promoting it to see what that felt like. And so I did that, but while that was going on, <laughs> tons of other things, videos, and then the tour was getting lined up. I had a sneak preview of that. It's like, it was almost as if I really didn't leave the stage for a year. But then I became excited because I did a television show, and I, it was a glimpse of what this show was going to feel like. It was different for the first time in my life, singing my own material. 
But um, that's the challenge. Save it for a rainy day. Always trying something new, Tina has just finished a high-powered television commercial with her old friend David Bowie. The challenge is America finally to see what that response is. But um, that's the challenge. And that's what I'm looking forward to. You have to find s something that's stimulating. And that's, that's what my, the, the stimulation is right now, to see how successful I will be there. Well,